Hi. Good afternoon. You expected a woman, I know. Um, and my co-founder is actually a woman, but we had a child some weeks ago, so I'm doing the presentation. And I'm also carrying the CEO title for a couple of months, which then I'm going to give back to her. So, and my other co-founder, Mike, was supposed to hold this presentation. And I, he called me this morning and said he's sick. So I took over his, took over his slides, and I'm going to take my voice over on his slides. So the first slide begs a question, what do women want? And this is a question that we've been asked early in our existence. We launched the app a year ago. And it's quite a tricky question to answer if you are an app developer. And it's also quite a provocative question, which in some ways is not really satisfying. And at Clue, we try to think deep. So we asked, what are women? Where's my, how do I click? Here I click. What is a woman? And this is, not a, this is not an easy one, because today we see that um, gender and sexuality are rapidly changing. It's not like you can easily say it's a man or it's a woman. There is no heterosexual and homosexual. There's all kinds of things plotted on a large metric. So the idea that you can just say, this is my user, and I'm going to segment it this way, is not, is, not, is not there anymore. But for us at Clue, a woman is a woman that has a cycle, or if you want to have the biological term, that has a uterus. And this is what the cycle looks like. It is a beautiful graph of different hormones that are present um, during a about four-week period for a lot of people in the world. And for me, this graph is actually, is actually a beauty. It's, it's a narrative. It's a story. It is, it is like music, in a way. And it, the, the interesting thing is, it happens for a lot of women, month over month over month over month, for 30 years of their lives. And it begs a lot of questions, because if this is music, then it, there is a lot of sounds during that cycle. And these sounds are all kinds of effects that come with the cycle. Cramps, bleeding, cervical fluid, mood, mood changes, sex drive, orgasm, etc., etc. Everything is changing every month. And this is present for half the world's population every month for 30 years. So at any given point, we have 2 billion women in the world who are, um, who are faced with the, with the differences. And for the men, and there's a lot of men in the room, this is hard to understand if you don't really see this every day and if you don't feel this. And also for investors, by the way, male investors, they always laugh in presentations, ah, oh, you're going to... Um, you're going to predict me when my, when my partner is, a ha is having a bad mood. And we laugh back. But actually, this is not a topic to laugh. This is nothing to make jokes about, because it's quite serious for a lot of people. And what do these women want? They want answers about the cycle. For example, can I get pregnant today for women who want to get pregnant? It's quite a serious matter. It's not only women. It's also men and, and couples who want to get pregnant. Or can I not get pregnant today, which is present for most women, at, at most times, they don't want to get pregnant. And um, it's, a, it's a big question. And seven out of ten, ten women are not on birth control. So hormonal birth control is actually not a very high penetration in the Western world, even less so in, the, in, in other countries, in the developed world, develop, developing countries. And then the question, what will happen tomorrow? Will I be in a bad mood? In a, will I have a bleeding? Will I have, um, will I have pains? And our users, we have a lot of, a lot of users who um, are doing, tracking their cycles, and they want to have these answers. And this user, for example, says, I want a real-time API. I want to compare my sleep patterns, exercise, energy level, body weight, asthma, everything against my clue data. Because the clue data is something that correlates with these things. So if you can understand this data, you can make derivatives on your, on your everyday life. And this is, what is, is a space that is just starting with these kind of apps. And this is what the app looks like. It's an intuitive interface to track these kind of data every day. And the everyday tracking is really important, because um, we saw a couple of variables earlier. And uh, variables do passive tracking, but they, they, they track meaning, meaningless stuff in some ways. I don't want to know how much five kilometers run, running feels like. Or maybe I want to know that twice. But after I know, I move away from this. This gives you an answer to something 
that you want to know next month again and again and again. It's like sort of deep, important, meaningful knowledge. This user says, Clue has touched me on a far deeper level than I ever could have imagined. It has contributed to rekindle a long lost relationship with my body and my femininity. So what is this about? This is about empathy. This is about giving an app that empowers and, 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 and has, gives meaning to the feelings that you have every day. And this is always about, also about privacy. You want to have that data um, for yourself, and it's not about something you want to share. You may upload it to, to our service so we can make more meaning of the data, but something that is inherently private. And today, I want to share what the vision we have with this is. And where we want to go with this is we want to predict exactly when someone can or will not get pregnant based on the data set that we gather and in the future data set that comes through the variables in it. Because there's a lot of correlations that we can see. And we will also know when symptoms will occur with scientific validity because this is about science. This is not about some, um, some tracking app that, that says something. We need to be able to go through, cl through clinical trials with our data. So our vision is to radically innovate and advance female health, or to put it differently, to build an alternative to hormonal birth control, because data can actually do that. And that's Clue. Thank you. <laughs>